How are you doing? I'm Sean and I'm going to show you how you can still access the website Sheethost despite its certificate being expired. If you try to access the website right now, it would look like this with the error third date invalid. Credits to Hacker09 by the way for giving me the solution on my email list. Now before I continue, let me just say that this solution works for Windows. If you're using Mac or Linux, you should look for a similar method. Anyway, the first thing that I want you to do is to bring out the browser that you're using which is Chrome and create a new shortcut. I want you to rename it into something different so that you only use the website with this shortcut. Secondly, you right click on the newly made shortcut, go to the properties and then you see this on the shortcut tab. Now what I want you to do next is to go into the description below and copy this. Now uh, bear in mind there's a space right here. Now you go to the target tab and then go to the end there and paste it. And then click apply and then the first step is done. Now the second thing I want you to do is so if you still have Chrome on, just close it because you need to relaunch it. And when you launch the, uh, the new shortcut, it would give you this message. You're, you are using an unsupported command line flag. Now the next thing I want you to do is to go to the description again and copy and paste this into the search bar. In this box right here, enter the shithost website. As you can see, I already have it, but I'll, I'll still do it anyway. Now after pasting the website, you see this message telling you to relaunch the browser and now you can access the website whether you need to back up your sheets or whether you want to keep on using this safe haven for music arrangers it's up to you if you want other alternatives then i would suggest you to use musecore but that website is straight platform i meant other than that you could use cloud services like mega media files and Dropbox but the downside is that they would delete your file if you go inactive for three months or you know uh, after you pass away and yeah that's about it thanks for watching I hope this helped you and I'll see you next time